Hi guys and welcome back to Temple Boy Turnings. I'm Steve. Um, I was uh, it was mentioned in one of the comments or a few of the comments that I don't mention who I am. I just give my name as Temple Boy Turnings. I am Steve. Steve Twydell from Temple Boy Turnings. So uh, if ever you do comment down below, you can refer to me as Steve. Um, good to know you all. Um, Last time you were here, I was turning a bowl from colour pencils, a piece of beechwood, and some compact discs. And I've had a brilliant response from all of the videos in this compact disc series. Before we get on to this week's project, I just want to mention a couple of things. The UK and Ireland Wood Turning Symposium uh, that is happening on the 18th and 19th of June. Uh, myself, Martin and Mike are still flat out um, getting organised for the event. It's, uh, it's shaping up to be absolutely fantastic. Um, Martin has just uh, released a video with all the updates for the, for the um, symposium. I'm not going to ramble on too much about it on this video. Um, just a quick message, just to say that um, the masterclass tickets are on general sale now, um, so you can head over to the UKIS uh, webpage, which I'll put a link down below, and you can book uh, those tickets. Now there's only 30 tickets available for each uh, masterclass, so you need to be fast and get over there and, um, and book those. And you can only book those tickets if you have got an event ticket for the weekend. So. Um, so pop over to the, the web page anyway and, uh, and it tells you everything you've got to know there. And go over and see Martin's uh, video. He's, like I say, he's got the update. Um, and the other thing is, my friend Rob Summerlin from Woodsley Summercraft, he has a YouTube channel as well. He does some fantastic stuff there. He makes some beautiful bowls. Um, and he's been experimenting too with different, uh, different things. Um, over the over Christmas, I had problems with my camera, and I put on Facebook that um, I lost a lot of uh, footage from one of the videos that I was um, that I was filming. And Rob, without a thought, went off and he bought me a new card, and he sent it over to me all the way from Canada. So thank you, Rob. That is now going to go into the camera, and I'm going to give back the SD card that I've borrowed. Um, thank you, that is so kind of you. Um, we're friends for a long, long time and Rob never lets me down. Um, he is just a rock. He also sent me a card. There it is. And I, like a lot of YouTubers, am starting a, a war. It's just over there. And uh, I'm going to start putting people's business cards and stickers and alike. Up on the uh, up on the board. This is my first one. Proud to have it, Rob. Thank you very much, and thank you for the card. Um, I'll be using that from now on. I'm moving away just this week, and maybe next week away from the CDs. Just have a break from them. I like to kind of take a bit of a break from projects when I'm doing them because otherwise it can get a bit tedious and, and boring, and and it's not as enjoyable. So I've just taken a break from the CDs. I still have a, a load of them over there. And I, I have got another project already started um, for another video soon, but um, I'm just taking a break. And this week, <clears throat> I was cleaning out my shed at home and uh, I came across this. It's one inch copper pipe. Um, I used to be a plumbing and heating engineer. Uh, I gave that up when I, when I saw sense. And um, I found this piece of copper pipe lying around and I had a bing moment. So, what I'm going to do is, or I'm going to try, make a goblet with a piece of copper pipe incorporated in the stem. So that's what we're going to do this week. I've got my lump of, guess it, yes, beach. That's kind of all I've got lying around here at the moment. Not great for getting different types of wood around here, but uh, it's as usual, got some lovely sporting in it. Uh, so we're going to incorporate the copper in the beach and we're going to turn a goblet. So join me over at the lathe 
and um, I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so I have um, our piece of wood in the chuck one end. Just I've just got it held um, in the chuck as a square, um, and I'm going to turn it down, as I said, to the inside diameter of the copper pipe. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and round that off. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to part off the end here, the rough end. Finished up with a saw now on both ends, and I'm just going to run it on the sander, sand up both ends, and then I shall glue it into the pipe. Um, basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, super glue it with uh, medium thick glue all over CA and, uh, and stick it inside the pipe. I'm going to clean up the pipe a little bit inside with a bit of steel wool for, first so it's clean and then stick it in. I'll come back to you when I've got the, the wood stuck into the pipe. Okay, so I've glued my piece of wood into the pipe. I made a bit of a boo-boo, but um, I don't mind, this is an experiment. I couldn't, the glue, um, obviously because it's super glue, I didn't prepare myself quick enough. I should have had um, another piece of wood ready to tap that in as far as I wanted it. and. Uh, I faffed around looking for something to knock it in and by the time I found something Sorry, the glue had set. Uh, but that's okay. the next thing is I've got to insert this inside the piece of wood that we're going to use for a goblet which is the piece of beech. I've put my uh, piece of beech that I'm going to use for uh, the goblet in between centres and I'm just going to round this off before I decide where I'm going to cut it up to insert the copper inside. Um, so uh, I'm just going to get it round and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I have that round now. Um, it's a bit smaller than originally planned because this piece broke away when I was uh, roughing it. So um, rather than try and CA it and glue it and, and all that, I turned out, turned it out and made it a bit smaller. So it's still big enough for a goblet and it's still big enough to do what I want to do. So I'm going to cut it just here, part it off there, take that piece away, bore the hole all the way down the center, center for this to go up inside and glue that in and then I'm going to bore a hole in the base and glue that in. So the copper is sandwiched inside the blank. And then I'm going to turn it down and hopefully the copper will come through um, in the stem. That's in theory. Okay, now I've got to drill a hole in where the base is going to be. Um, and do you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do it with my thin parting tool. Just so that I'm putting a, a cut into the end. So that will push in tight. So there will still be wood inside. Yep. That is absolutely perfect. So all I've got to do now is um, go down a wee bit more and then I might just cut a bit off of this copper. So what I've done is I have bored my hole, uh, used the parting tool as you saw to make the, the right size hole and then I've 
knot our piece of copper with our wood inside into what will be the base of the goblet. And it's running nice and true, it's in there nice and straight and I've scuffed up the outside with some sandpaper just like you would um, the insert for making a pen. Uh, scuffed out the outside and that's basically what we're doing is making a giant pen blank here I suppose. But um, And then I'm going to put a hole through the centre of this, the same size as the copper pipe and we're going to glue that back in there. That's in theory. And then we're going to turn our goblet. Okay, so this is where we are now. Recap. We have our dowel inside our copper tube and we have our copper tube inside our blank. So now this is going to be my cup here of my goblet and I'm going to turn this down like that roughly and hopefully our copper will start to show through and look like an inlay if my plans worked. If not, it's just going to look rubbish. But we won't know unless we try. So let's try.
So uh, I have my uh, goblet cup all finished. Um, I've textured just around this rim with the Wagner texturing tool. Just around there and I've burnt three lines with the wire just to kind of let it stand out and of course we've got the bead in the in the centre of the or just the top third of the cup. Um, the spool tin is absolutely beautiful um, and now we're just going to crack on and uh, see what happens with this stem. See does my, uh, my idea come to life or is it just a complete and utter disaster. That's what experiments are for. Let's uh, let's do this.
so I'm going to sand that up. Um, I've got some emery cloth for the for the copper. I'm going to sand it up and tidy it up a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to texture down here the same as here on this piece um, with my Wagner uh, texturing tool, and then and then I'm going to sand and seal it and polish it up, and I think that is going to look beautiful. So uh, I'll get back to you when it's finished because it's all just sanding now and finishing. So uh, I'll show you the finished article at the end. Okay guys, there it is. There is our um, beach and copper goblet. Um, now, I did a couple of things off camera. Um, I wasn't too happy with just the, the flat um, look of the copper. Um, now, like I said, this, this was an experiment. I've never turned copper before. I did learn an awful lot doing this. The first thing is that the copper pipe isn't all that thick, so you don't have much play when you're, when you're turning it. I would have liked to have kind of had more, um, more beads and, uh, and hollows in, in the actual copper itself, but it, it's just too thin and um, I just went through too easily. Um, but I, I still really kind of think it's cool the way the wood comes in on the copper and the, do you know it's really held in there good and tight so it looks nice it's just the edges could have been a bit better but like I say it's it's experimental and the next one I do and I am going to do another one because I really did enjoy doing this and I love the effect um, yeah so I, I didn't like the smooth look on the copper so what I did was I got my Dremel and I just, I have these, um, these diamond bits for my Dremel and I just used a round uh, diamond bit and um, I just went over all the copper and it's given it this really cool um, glittery effect. I'll put some pictures up at the end. Uh, of the goblet of much closer up view but it's given it a really cool um, effect on the copper um, and the other thing is you probably noticed when I was turning it the copper wasn't straight to the wood I don't quite know how that happened I think maybe when once I glued up the blank I think maybe my blank went slightly off center so when I was turning it it's given it, it, again, it's a fluke, but it's, it's given it a really cool effect because it's not straight cuts, it's, it's, off, it's um, off center. So yeah, it, I like it, it looks really cool. Um, I did a bit of texturing on the bottom and I did a bit of texturing around the top and the sporting in the beach is absolutely beautiful. This is an absolutely gorgeous piece of wood. Um, it came out really well. Um, I sand and sealed the whole thing and then I um, spray lacquered just purely because I know the copper copper can react to different chemicals and different uh, different finishes and it can go dull um, so what we used to do when, when I was in the in the trade is if we had some really nice copper work we would spray lacquer the copper and it would stop it from uh, getting a patina on it and going dull. So that's it for this week. Um, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I just want to mention two YouTube tubers, as we call them. Um, the first one is Al Furtado. Um, Al's got a fantastic um, channel here. He does a lot of uh, really cool stuff. I think he goes by the name of the Rebel Turner. But uh, he does some really cool stuff with different woods. And he's just done a really nice video actually with his grandson, which was uh, really, really nice to watch. But Al has shared my videos a few times on, on Twitter. So thank you, Al. That's very kind of you. I'll put a link to his, uh, his channel down below. And the other person is this person here. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. I'm really sorry. I don't do languages. I think you're French-Canadian. I think he's French-Canadian. Uh, I think it translates to the woodpecker. I'm not sure, my daughter translated it, like I said, I don't do languages, but a really cool videographer and a fantastic turner. Uh, he just hit 2,000 subscribers recently and did a really uh, 
a really enjoyable uh, video incorporating all the really well-known YouTube wood turners. Um, and uh, just go, head over and, and have a look at his videos, he's very good. And he's also shared my videos on Twitter as well. So thank you very much, you're very kind. Uh, that's it guys, I'm almost he heading to my first thousand subscribers, which is absolutely un unbelievable. Thank you so much to all of you that have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Please hit the like and share my videos. Until next week, thank you very much. Bye-bye.